and we're in part four of the Let's Play. Just saw my camera. Buttercup, Bubbles, still not there. Oh, Blossom, gotta get rid of her. The only ones I've had to deal with so far, just like the night three, the only ones I've had to deal with are Blossom and Bunny. Haven't had to deal with Bubbles or Buttercup yet. I'm checking for them though, because I know they're going to come to the doors any second. Unless I get lucky like on night three and I don't have to deal with them, but we'll see. We'll have to see what happens. 4 a.m. and I still haven't had a deal with Bubbles and Buttercup. It's already 4 a.m. They might come later at like 4 or 5, at like 5 a.m. like Blossom did for night three. But I don't know, we'll see. Bunny, okay, she left. I heard the banging. Oop. Any more? Nope. Okay. Aha, speak of the devil, Buttercup has finally shown up. And it's 4 a.m., but I gotta keep the left door closed because Bunny's coming. Alright, so, so I finally dealt with Buttercup at Buttercup. So yeah, so the only one I haven't had to deal with yet on night four is Bubbles. Because I didn't have to deal with both Bubbles and Buttercup on night three. And then for Blossom, I didn't have to deal with her on night three until 5 a.m. Whereas on night four, I didn't have to deal with Blossom until 2 a.m. And then Buttercup, I didn't have to deal with until 4, 4 a.m. I gotta check for Bubbles, though. I don't know if she's gonna come on night four either come on night four. I don't know if she's going to come. Because Buttercup showed up at 4 a.m. And then I've only had to deal with Blossom once, just like with night four, three. Night three, I only had to deal with Blossom at 5 a.m. Whereas on night four, I've only, I only had to deal with Blossom at um, 2 a.m. And then Buttercup at 4 a.m. And we beat night four. There you go. And once again, didn't have to deal with bubbles again, which is weird. But apparently, she moves the slowest out of all the characters. She moves the slowest. Okay. So this is where... This is the part where we can get the good ending. Right over here. To get the good ending, we have to go to the right side of the maze. Which is this way. And we have to go through a hidden passageway that's like off screen and you can't see it. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Am I doing it right? I don't know. Could I think it's either this one or the other one. I don't know. Because I have to activate some kind of hidden thing that's off screen. Like, you can't really see it. It's, like, off-screen, literally. Or is it on the left side? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta look. I gotta look till I find it. Or do I have to go down this section? I don't know. I guess I'll just keep looking. I don't know if I have to hit one of the buttons or something to activate it. I don't know. Cause I'm just I'm just gonna walk around until I figure something out. Okay. I don't know, I'm confused here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments which section, which part of the built this maze I have to go through to get the good ending because I can't find it. But I'm going to end my video here. 
and we'll figure out how to do the next part in the next video. But thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.